not looking at mm -hmm. anything and making sure you're not researching it yourself when everything happens in the courtroom is what you're supposed to consider. So. Right. Yeah. I'm but sure it's all were, based off of I'm sure just they trusting were, them though, right? They're not like they tracking their out. phones yeah. or tracking. No. But I'm sure that, as Amy said, if Judge Newman told me, don't look it up, I'm yeah. not looking it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. We know our, our, yeah. our egg lady friend, <laughs> obviously, you, didn't follow the rules, but... Yeah. Thank um, you, Judge. Do I need to leave my phone here, or can right. I take it, or... Yeah. Just, let me know what, just let me know what you want me to do, Judge. Yeah. I'm all in. I mean, I got jumped into this. Do you need my Wi-Fi password? <laughs> well, you know, obviously, as we always say when we talk about the Murdoch stuff, we can talk about this forever and ever, but is there any other, before I close up, are there any other moments in the trial that kind of stuck out that you guys wanted to talk about. I was about. surprised they didn't blame it on Eddie because Eddie? all of these motions, Eddie knew everything and he was the guy and he then they the got man. to trial and they were like, it was drugs. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, well, dang. So they, I'll leave it with, they need to free Eddie. <laughs> at yeah. this Hashtag point. free Eddie. <laughs> yeah. Free Eddie because I don't know why, what, what the problem is here. We've identified the bad guy. I'm going to start one of those guy. Facebook picture frames. Like, you know, it's like, I was on the edge of my seat. I was on the edge of my seat. Like Eddie's gonna come in here. He's gonna tell us what he knows. They're gonna blame Eddie. Not one mention of Eddie. No that was all about f sixty pills a day. Hmm. And he was worried that he was gonna get too sweaty. Three mayonnaise jars full <laughs> a day. He, he didn't huh, go back to the kennels because he would have got too sweaty because he was doing drugs. That's that's what the defense <laughs> was. And I was like, dang, why'd you file all these motions about Eddie? Uh huh. So, hashtag free Eddie. Everybody was doing the old bait and switch. Yeah, I was surprised about that. What about for you, Charney? <laughs> That's all we got. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shake for you. <laughs> for me, it was um, it was the testimony of Alex when he said when Creighton Waters asked him, "Why do you think you know if somebody else did this? Why do you think that somebody killed your family?" And he said, "The boat case." And I think that's exactly why I killed him. Mm -hmm. Because any normal human being in that situation would have said it's my fault it's my responsibility that they're dead i stole millions of dollars from people i lied to everyone i bought millions of dollars worth of drugs and did them and my family paid the price for my misdeeds and when he said the boat case for me and in my heart and that just sealed the deal for me that he was like Ruby that's exactly why he himself. killed him yep I read an article um, recently, it was after the verdict came out, with his, uh, I don't know if you sent that article to me, I don't know, anyways, I read it, it was the brother, the brother, I read it. That, okay, him, um, and <laughs> he, it was like his first time like kind of speaking out about it, mm -hmm. and what he said was that now when he looks back on it, he realizes that after, um, Maggie and Paul were killed and he's all in this okay well we got to find out who did it that he then realized that his brother was never looking for who did it and he's like here I am calling the sheriff's department asking about new leads trying to get them to like mm -hmm. send people out and all of this and he wasn't and he mm -hmm. said when he asked his brother um why do you think they were killed or who did this he said that his brother said, I don't know, but I know that whoever did it thought about it for a long time before he did it. Mm -hmm. And he was like, now that I look back on it, this is where the problem is. And mm -hmm. he was like, um, you know, I take what the jury has said and I accept it, but I don't, will never really know everything that happens. And I wish that my brother would tell me everything that happened. And so that kind of like really spoke Makes volumes sense. to me yeah. that here is, you know, someone who kind of, like, you know, in real time is realizing that you don't want to believe your brother could do something right. Like that. that my brother had something to do with this, and it's gotta be now tough. I see why he reacted the way that he did. All those like so close to these murders happening, mm -hmm. and now it kind of all makes sense. And I still don't have this clear conscience about you know what happened, and I wish I did. Yeah, As Justin's I always said it. he's like, babe, if something happened to you or one of our kids. Like I would, 
and he goes, I would immediately go like Liam Neeson style and like hire people to figure it out. Right. And, and protect everybody mm-hmm. and to like do these things. And like, none of that was going on. That's yeah. so weird. Also, you can't compare things to you and Justin though, because you guys are like, <laughs> no, no. Own I, you guys would start off like a ninja no program. Or no. something. So let's not the same. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you're right. But, I mean, know, anybody like, would go and, to and war. And the thing is, I say that because, I mean, we have... I, I, we have the money to do that. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And when you, when you're a person of means and you can do that and, and especially cause he always, ta- um, not he, not Justin, but Murdoch talked about his distrust of sled and all this other stuff that if you, if that were really going on in your head, that you don't trust the cops and you don't think they're going to do a good job, which that would probably run through Justin's head. I take it back because what we've seen here today, that maybe sled would be the one to investigate it. He'd be hiring like old, you know, retired FBI agents yeah. to like figure this out and but protect you everybody sleep until you have an answer. No. You don't, you don't have go about the life. clean up the crime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unless you did it. Yeah. You just yeah. don't. Hey, just make it like, yeah. Make you it like that. You, you always send it. your investigator. It's you're in there to like yeah. process stuff. Mm-hmm. But you like, don't Bill say. Bill get over here now. You don't say, hey, <laughs> go clean it up. Go clean it up. What also <laughs> stuck out to me was, I don't know if it, it was That'll the same brother. That'll always be a for me. Um, just be a when he talked about cleaning up the remains of like the head that had exploded everywhere, that he like he knew he shouldn't have been doing it, but he couldn't help it because he just wanted to like do Get it right and clean it up and like not disrespect him like that. I mean, that was a, like a, oh, you know, yeah. when I heard that, cause I'm like, why didn't Alec feel like that? You know what I mean? Like, why was the uncle, um, and his own partners that? who love Paul, you know, you've seen Ronnie Crosby. He's like, we just felt like this need, like we can't just leave. It just felt like, it's not the word like disrespectful that it was raining too yeah, it's raining and and here's their bodies and like there's this stuff and even after it was over it's like to leave just to not do anything about it and clean it just it's like and you're not thinking in that moment like i should go try to find like someone who cleans up crime scenes you're just like when my grandmother died um she had an aneurysm and i immediately started cleaning the floor like you know i go into shock yeah. and i started cleaning where her um she had bodily fluid come out every year. Yeah. And um, I immediately just started cleaning. It's like when my friend's parents or grandparents or whatever die, I go to their house and I just start cleaning. You know, it's like, it's like a well, reaction. Think, yeah, we just saw a bunch of normal human reactions yeah. explained, like people who were there yeah. and reacting. No, I total guess total what sense. feels normal to us. Like yeah. they're explaining the way they felt and why they acted the way they did. And then you look at Alec and you're just like... Nothing. Yeah. This doesn't make any sense, man. Yeah. Like, why didn't Mother you care? effer, he did it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. I didn't want him to do it. <laughs> I know. I want him to be innocent so bad. How <laughs> many of these podcasts have we done for her to say that? I didn't want him to be guilty. I wanted him to not. I want, I, and I don't mean that I didn't want him to be guilty. I didn't want him. I wanted him to not kill his family. Yeah. I think that's yeah. That was yeah. my hope. I think we all shared that sentiment. Yeah. I don't think everybody did. I don't think everybody did hope that he killed kill his family. I think it was like, ah, he did it, and not y'all. I'm mm-hmm. talking about like online and yeah. stuff. Like people had made up their mind, and I was like really hopeful that he didn't, and then yeah. I was really disappointed. <laughs> yeah, it's unfortunate. I'm no still matter what way you look at it, for sure. All right, I'm going to cut us off because yes. we'll be here all day, and you guys will be stuck with us all day. So thank you so much for watching the Carolina Justice Report. Uh, we, of course, are going to stay on the Murdoch for as long as it goes on. So I think um, Judge Newman said he had 90-something other um, cases to deal with kind of everything going on with the family. So uh, we'll be there for all of them. Um, <laughs> but we will keep you guys updated. Thank you so much for all of your comments, reviews, or questions. We love to get those, so keep sending those our way, and we'll answer as many as we can um, throughout our show and throughout the podcast as well. Thank you ladies so much for weighing in on this as Thank always. You. Um, and you guys can find us anywhere that you consume your social media. We're on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Um, and of course you can visit us online at justiceislovely.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. When life